Kane Peterson here. I just wanted to show uh, single axis joysticks are now working with the latest versions of NDI Studio Monitor. So uh, I've got an X keys one here. And let me just give you a little quick demonstration of how this would operate. So I'm going to switch over and you can see my NDI Studio Monitor software here. And I'll hold the joystick up so that you can see this working. Now, first of all, you do have to make sure the joystick is selected as a source. And that's under Settings, PTZ, PTZ Joystick. And you can see the XK12 uh, listed in there to select that. And once you have that set up here, I can go into my joystick and you'll see that it will now move and respond to the joystick motions up, down, left, right. So uh, that axis is now working correctly. Uh, you can also do zoom by rotating the joystick. Now you don't want to rotate it too quickly uh, because it is, you do have to return it back to center to get the, uh, the zoom to stop. So uh, since the joystick doesn't have a snap back feature, you just have to manually turn it the amount of zoom you want and then turn it back just to stop that zoom in there. And then if you do set up the buttons on it as a joystick button, that will allow you to turn auto zoom on and off uh, if you wanted to as well. So there's just a really quick demonstration of getting a single axis joystick working with uh, a NDI camera and NDI studio monitor.